Hey, this video is going to talk about similes. Uh, similes occur when you compare two things that are different using the words like or as. And uh, there, there are two kinds of similes. There's the like simile and there's the as. It's really as adjective as, like <clears throat> as small as, as tall as, as bright as, as dark as, and so forth. And similes can make your writing as hot as a jalapeno. See? That was a simile. Aren't I clever? I compared the spiciness of writing with the spiciness of a hot pepper by using the words as. And so that makes a simile. Here's another example of an as simile. Let's say that you're watching TV and you see a crocodile and you notice how rough the crocodile's skin is. I mean, you could say that the crocodile the crocodile skin is very rough and that would be fine, but it wouldn't be a vivid or visually memorable comparison. How about if you said that the crocodile's skin was as rough as tree bark? How do you like that? I mean, look at that. That's really rough, and everybody knows what tree bark looks like. So if you would say the crocodile skin was as rough as tree bark, then uh, you will have used a simile because you were saying that the skin was as rough as. You're comparing skin with tree bark using the word as, and you have yourself a simile there that's pretty memorable and pretty visual. Here's an example of a like simile. Uh, let's say that you sit down to eat a steak, and it is the toughest steak you ever ate in your whole life. I mean, you had to chew each bite 50 times before you could swallow it. Well, you just don't want to say that the steak was tough. That's not, that's not descriptive enough. You want to say eating the steak was as, like eating an old boot. I mean, that steak was like an old boot. And you see, and there's a simile. It's a like simile because you said that a steak was like a boot. I hope you can see that you know similes make your writing a little bit more colorful by, by putting pictures into people's minds. And it, more of, of this is available on the brain sheet that's available for download, uh, giving you examples and non-examples, related terms, and some more visuals, uh, and then an assessment at the end to help see how help you uh, see just how well you know uh, similes. And I do want to say one uh, other thing, and that is that just because you say like or say as, it doesn't mean that you have a simile. Okay? So for example, um, if you would say, if you would say, uh, my little sister is as tall as your little sister, okay? That is just a comparison. You're just comparing your little sister uh, to your friend's little sister, and you are using the as tall as here, okay? But that's not a simile, because you, a simile is when you compare two very different things. The same thing has to go with like. You know, for example, if you would say, my brother looks just like your brother, Okay, that's not a simile. You do have a like, and you are making a comparison, but it's just a comparison. It's not a simile. In order for there to be a simile, it has to be two totally different things. So if you would say, uh, my brother, okay, is like a bulldozer on the football field, okay, now you have a simile because you compared a human being to a piece of earth-moving equipment. All right, and because you're comparing two different things, now you have uh, a simile. So I encourage you to use similes um, in your writing and uh, to read stories by some good writers to see how those good writers work similes into their stories. And uh, I want to thank you a lot for watching the video, and I hope that you're enjoying the site and that it's helping you understand what you read just a little bit better. And I'll see you in another video.